Estrangement, the act of being separated, cut off from someone is a complex and challenging experience. This space explores the emotional and psychological impact of estrangement on individuals. Let's talk about the emotional turmoil. We call it grief and loss. Individuals often experience this sense of grief. It's a profound loss for the relationship status, okay? There's going to be anger and confusion, like an emotional roller coaster. So many things are going on. You may even question your identity. So another piece of this emotional turmoil is that some people feel liberated, especially if the relationship was toxic or a detriment to their well-being. So the psychological impact, stress and anxiety are ever present with that. I mean, you're worried about what will happen, what won't happen, how will it go, what will I do? So there's a lot of of anxiety because there's a heightened stress. It's triggered, right? And we grapple with the rupture of the relationship, whether you're the person that's estranged or the one that has been estranged from. And the sense of abandonment, right? And identity crisis may lead to symptoms of depression. I've been a mother my whole life. I was a daughter. I did this. I was a son. And now all of a sudden, none of that is happening. I was a sibling. So a lot of that can facilitate feelings of depression, being down, not wanting to do the things you once enjoyed. Estrangement can also challenge individuals' identity and security. What are some coping strategies? So one is to self-reflect. Coping involves self-reflection, understanding our own emotions, acknowledging the need for healing. Another one is to establish boundaries. Setting boundaries is a crucial part in protecting one's emotional well-being, okay, especially after estrangement. Another coping strategy is to seek support, whether it's from friends that you can talk to, a professional. It's essential to have someone in your corner, someone you know that when you speak to them, you feel safe. To learn more about coping strategies, watch my video, Coping and Grieving with Adult Child Estrangement. So another piece is open communication and empathy, not universally applicable, right? Reconciliation may not be the path for everyone and individuals should prioritize their well-being above external expectations. To hear more about communication, watch my video, Communication with Estranged Adult Children. That one will unpack this topic a lot more than what we're doing here. We're just scratching the surface. Moving forward, it's a good idea to prioritize self-care. I know many of you are saying, I'm sick of hearing about self-care, but self-care is more than just making sure you're going to the doctor and you're taking your medicine. Self-care is about a practice, a daily practice that does things intentionally to say that you care for yourself and that you matter. Because when life gets really busy and hectic and we're feeling all distressed about what's going on emotionally in our lives, we're going to neglect ourselves. That's just what it is. So when you hear me talking about self-care, I'm not just saying that because, oh, that's the, you know, the thing to do today in 2024. No, it's important that you carve out time that says, I care for myself and I'm going to help myself heal. Another thing is to remain social. Don't isolate. Be around those who love and value you. And explore your growth. What are you doing to grow? Are you doing things that are saying, hey, you know, I'm not the person I was five years ago or a year ago. So estrangement leaves an indelible mark on us, affecting our emotions and our psychological state. Recognizing the uniqueness of all of our experiences is crucial 
and getting support and having understanding whether it's finding healing seeking reconciliation or forging new connections individuals are encouraged to prioritize their well-being in the estrangement journey so thank you for subscribing and don't forget to ring the bell so you get these videos